stars orbit the center of the Milky Way, and galaxies are pulled together by each other's gravity. Sometimes they even collide. Hubble has observed numerous galaxies crashing together. Like majestic ships in the grandest night, galaxies can slip ever closer until their mutual gravitational interaction begins to mold them into intricate figures that are finally and irreversibly woven together. It is an immense cosmic dance choreographed by gravity. When two galaxies collide, it's not like a car crash or two billiard balls hitting each other. It is more like interlocking your fingers. Most of the stars in the galaxy will pass unharmed through the collision. At worst, gravity will fling them out along with dust and gas to create long streamers that stretch a hundred thousand light years or more. The two galaxies trapped in their deadly gravitational embrace will continue to orbit each other ripping out more gas and stars to add to the tails. Eventually, hundreds of millions of years from now, the two galaxies will settle into a single combined galaxy. It is believed that many present-day galaxies, including the Milky Way, were assembled from such a coalescence of smaller galaxies occurring over billions of years. Triggered by the colossal and violent interaction between the galaxies, Stars form from large clouds of gas in firework bursts, creating brilliant blue star clusters. Our own Milky Way is on a collision course with the nearest large galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. They are approaching each other at almost 500,000 kilometers per hour and in three billion years will collide head on. The direct collision will lead to a magnificent merger between the two galaxies, during which the Milky Way will no longer be the spiral galaxy we are familiar with. Instead, it will evolve into a huge elliptical galaxy containing all of its own stars and all of those of the Andromeda galaxy too. Seen from the Earth, the collision will look something like this. Although this will not happen for a very long time, there are other dark forces of nature in play everywhere around us, even as we speak. Black holes are the enigmatic villains of the universe swallowing all that comes their way, allowing nothing to escape. So for astronomers, the center of a black hole is the ultimate unknown. No information can escape from within a black hole's gravitational stronghold. There is no way to find out what is in there. Not even light can escape. So how do we know that they are even there? Black holes themselves cannot be observed directly. However, astronomers can see the indirect effect of black holes because the one thing they do possess in abundance is gravity. Hubble's high resolution has revealed the dramatic distorting effects of black holes on their surroundings. And not just gravity. Astronomers find that when material is packed tightly enough around a black hole, it can ring like a bell. 
This is the actual note produced by a black hole some 250 million light years from Earth. It reverberates through the disk and has been altered here to fall within the range of human hearing. In reality, it's B flat, some 57 octaves below middle C. Astronomers believe that black holes are singularities, simple points in space, no volume, no extension, but infinitely dense. Black holes can be created during the final collapse of a massive star many times the size of the Sun. The stellar corpse left after the demise and collapse of a massive star can be so heavy that no force in nature can prevent it crumpling under its own weight into an infinitely small volume. Although matter has apparently disappeared, having been compacted into nothingness, it still exerts a powerful gravitational pull and any stars or other objects that come too close can be pulled in. For any black hole, there is a point of no return called the event horizon. Once something, a nearby star, say, is pulled in past this point, it will never be seen again. On its way towards the event horizon, the doomed star will begin to follow a fatal spiraling orbit. As the star approaches the black hole still further, the matter closest to the hole feels a greater attraction than the rest of the star, sucking and stretching the star out towards the hole, until the immense tidal forces pull it to pieces and devour it. There are quirkier aspects to these objects too a twisting of space and time that warps and slows even the passage of time. All objects with a mass deform the very fabric of space and time, but black holes do this to an extreme degree. According to Einstein's famous theory of general relativity, an intrepid traveler who could visit a black hole and hang above the event horizon without being swallowed would eventually return to find himself younger than the people he had left behind. Perhaps the most curious objects astronomers have hypothesized about are wormholes. A wormhole is essentially a short cut through space-time from one point in the universe to another point in the universe. Maybe wormholes, if they exist, will someday allow travel between regions in space faster than it would take light to make the journey through normal space. Hubble has shown that black holes are most likely to be present at the centre of all galaxies. There's one at the centre of our Milky Way, a giant, supermassive black hole, perhaps a million times bigger than those produced by the collapse of a single massive star. It could be the result of a merger of many stellar-sized black holes formed during the remote history of our galaxy. When two galaxies collide, the black holes at each of their centers will perform an elaborate dance. Long after the two galaxies have merged into one, their central black holes continue to orbit each other for hundreds of millions of years before their final violent merger into a single weighty black hole. This final process is so powerful that it changes the fabric of space-time enough that we may be able to observe it from the Earth with a new breed of gravitational wave telescopes or from special spacecraft in orbit. However, compared with the millions of years it takes for galaxies to merge, the final cataclysm at the cores would be relatively brief. So the odds of seeing such an event are small. Until as recently as 50 years ago, astronomers thought the universe was a mostly peaceful place, but this is far from the truth. Space is often shaken by violent events. Cataclysmic explosions of supernovae, collisions of whole galaxies, and the tremendous outpourings of energy resulting from matter crashing into black holes. It was the discovery of quasars that gave us the first glimpse of this turmoil. To ground-based telescopes, Quasars look like normal stars, and that's exactly what astronomers first thought they were, naming them quasi-stellar objects. 
But quasars are in fact much brighter and further away than stars. They can shine more brightly than a thousand normal galaxies and are powered by supermassive black holes. Stars that orbit too close 